Japan is voted the safest country for women to travel alone. Okay, well, I'm not a woman. Well, you're not, but I mean, saying that's saying a lot because it's there's safe. so many places that are unsafe for women. Right. But that it's the safest country for Japan. women to travel alone. Did it say why? I don't know why. I just know that it is. You won't get trafficked. I don't think you will get trafficked. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that's a thing either. Yeah, I've never heard trafficking out of Japan. Yeah. But you never know. Like, yeah. fall, I'd like knowing my luck, I'd wander to like a yakuza bar or yeah. something, and yeah. then it'd be like Kill Bill. Yeah. Oh and then my god. Yeah. <laughs> just like. <laughs> Get your you know scene in Kill Bill Your where get scalped. Yeah. Where it's in the House of Blue Leaves and she's like fighting all those guys. Oh, yeah. And then it's the last guy and it's a kid. She's like, oh, what are you doing? Do it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be me. Here's what you get for around Yakuza's. That'd be me. I'd be the guy that was tricked into holding a samurai sword and like, hey, just go here and do this yeah. thing. And next thing you know, I'm fighting a white lady in a yellow tracksuit. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the 30s podcast. I am your solo host today, Uncle Marcus. Um, I am joined by our regular producer, Producer Caesar. Hi, everybody. There he is. Um, I'm not totally alone today, but I am your solo host today because Clint is doing um, the holiday rounds, if you will. He has a big family down in the South, so he's down in the South um, with them, which he did a few weeks ago for Christmas, and uh, we actually took a break. Took a break at that time, but um, we're here today. So I hope everyone's, this will be this is our Christmas episode, Christmas episode. So I hope everyone's having a great Christmas um, full of Yule logs and Christmas trees and wrapping papers and Santas and cookies. And um, yeah, we're having a fun episode today because we have a return guest to the show today. Ooh. Everyone's <laughs> favorite 500 days of Jasmine is here. Yay. Here. Thank you so much for being here on short notice. I am honored to be a returning guest. Oh, thank you so much. You I'm said, a two-hit wonder. You said, <laughs> <laughs> you said the first time you're here that you were honored to be here, and I, I love to hear that. I love to hear I that. I am. I was like, I hope he asked me to be on again. <laughs> oh, okay. You, know, cool. you can always ask me to be on the show because, spoiler or not spoiler, your episode is our most viewed episode. You know? Let's hit in a, a yay right there. We can't hear it. No, that one's on, but like, yeah. Celebratory, you are our most popular guest. Um, I think for good reason. Fascinating. We have great chemistry together on camera and on we behind the microphone. <laughs> we are hilarious. Um, we are hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Known each other too long. <laughs> too long. Too many. It just too takes many a stories. Stare. <laughs> it takes a look. Okay. <laughs> okay. A, a look and a head shake. A look at. <laughs> it's always the um, the office like look in the camera moments or like you're just like we hear something or we see something and it's just. We just takes one look at like mouth the jar. You saw that, right? <laughs> oh, I, I saw that. I saw that, and um, I think that really it really shows when you, if you're watching the show or listening to the show. You, you can tell that there's history here, and it makes a great entertainment. Um, as I said earlier, this is our Christmas episode. Christmas. There. Yes, um, we're at that time of the year. Um, I'll just speak for myself. Firstly, about Christmas time, we spoke about it a little bit last year or last month. And how I was going to try and be kind of festive for Christmas. Um, I didn't. I know you don't like Christmas, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not, a, you always work Christmas. I do. I always I, I was like, <laughs> I'll, take a, I'll take a shift. Give me the shift. I don't care. I'm not festive. <laughs> I have a small family. We're not celebratory. We're not. It's not, a big, it's not a big deal. Yeah. yeah. And so I had made a, a small <laughs> affirmation. I'm pretty sure it was last month to be like, you know what? I'm going to get a tree. I'm going to get an ornament, an ornament. I'm going to get, I'm going to try and do something, something Christmassy. And I did not. <laughs> the, car, the Charlie Brown tree, yeah. the single ornament. It's a tree yeah. Window. Yes. And to be fair though, it flew by. It did. It did. It, did. it really did fly by. I can't believe December is going to be over next week. I feel like it was just Thanksgiving. Same. I'm, Same. Like, it's Christmas. I, yeah, I can't believe that. In two days, it's Christmas. Yeah, so we're recording this on the 23rd. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. And then it, that's it. Yeah. One more year until next year. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't do anything. I didn't follow through. Well, I follow through what was I going to do. And um, I don't I don't really feel any kind of way about it. Yeah. You know, I was kind of, I, I, I went into Christmas this year thinking like, oh, I'm going to be, be like most other people and just, you know, 
get decorations and, you know, be like into the holiday spirit. And now that it's going to be gone in two days, I don't really feel bad that I didn't yeah. do it. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people didn't do anything this year. Yeah. Well, we had like our one. We had that. That was fun. That yeah, to me was like. Yeah. It. We did. We did a, um, a Friendsgiving. Friends miss. Yeah. It was kind Friends of a combination. Miss. We did a secret Santa. I told our friends, Arlene, shout out. <laughs> um, I keep looking at that camera. That's my camera. Um, I told our friend Arlene, like, I wanted to do a Friendsgiving. Yeah. And then she said yes. And then we just didn't do it. So then we turned it into like a holiday. Friends miss. Yeah. It was so and fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was good. Yeah. Um, we had a good time. Um, but that was like the extent of, extent of the yeah. That's holiday as, That's as jolly as you got. That's as jolly as I got. But it was it. good. It was fun. Yeah, it was We had fun. a good time. We had a good time. We had, we had some newbies this year. Yeah. And it was, <laughs> that's uh, in our five friends. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, um, we are the Illuminati kind <laughs> yeah. of group where it's like invite, invite only. No one else is going to know what goes on you here. You get approved to come <laughs> you here. You get approved. Is everyone okay with so and so Yeah, company? you have to check first. Well, you check with one person. <laughs> yeah. The rest of us don't care. <laughs> you have to check with one person like, is it okay if they come? Radio silence. <laughs> yeah. And um, it was okay with that one person. <laughs> and uh, we had a good time. The matriarch. Yeah, the, yeah, the matriarch. I don't know if there's a motherly part of it or more of like an <laughs> authoritarian dictator part of it. But <laughs> but she approved our new guests this year. Yeah. So uh, we had a good time. And um, that was that was the extent of my holiday because the next two days I'll be working. So uh, I do want to ask you because you do Christmassy stuff. I do right? love Christmas. Yeah, you're a Christmas family. I am a Christmas fan. Yeah. Yeah. So you, get, what are your plans for tomorrow and um, Christmas Day? So uh, Christmas Eve is when my dad cooks for like the small family. So me, my mom, my sister, mm -hmm. and so he's cooking like Mexican food and stuff. Okay. Um. So he's gonna do that, and then on Christmas Day we go to my aunt slash grandma's. Okay. And that's like the huge family. Right. That's pretty much it. Yeah. But do you guys decorate the house? Oh, we decorate. Yeah, okay. we decorate. We have like a big tree. It's Grinch themed, oh. which is so cute. Uh -huh. um, and we just have like 103.7 playing all day. Okay. What radio station is that for those of us who don't see um, the radio? 103.7 Kiss FM. Okay. And so they're the, they're the radio station. 102.7. No, 103.5. Coast 103.5. Coast. Okay. Did I say? I don't know what I said. Kiss FM is 102.7. Oh, 103.5. Coast. Yeah. Coast. Okay. I don't even know anymore. Coast is like the slow jam. Or like... um. So after... Actually, I think they start playing it before Thanksgiving. Sometime in November, they just play Christmas music all day. Okay. All day long. Yeah. Like till December... 25th at midnight. Like the grocery stores and stuff? Yeah, they will just play Christmas music all... November so, 1st, it's like... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's actually like November 1st, maybe. <laughs> okay. I think right, right. Is. Like right after Halloween. Yeah, like, like it's like we're, we're it. on... Yeah. And so we have that playing like just all day. And uh -huh. it's like so comforting. Oh. Like it's just something like comforting about that. Yeah. Like I come home from work and like it's just playing mm -hmm. and it's just become a tradition. Okay. Yeah. But we do decorate and like... I made gingerbread cookies today, and we my mom, my sister still makes like cookies for Santa the night before for my dad or right. whatever. We have like the fireplace going. My dog. So who eats the Santa cookies? My dad. Yeah, oh. they're for my dad. He's like, where's my yeah? So she where's still, my Santa cookies? Yeah, yeah. so he's she still makes it for Santa, which is him. Right, right. But but she knows he's not. Really yeah, right. yeah, no, okay. yeah, for sure. But it's just kind of like a tradition. We're like big put, on tradition. Put like a trigger warning yeah. there, like. Just some, like spoilers. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler it was your alert. parents the whole time, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you? Children do you remember, should not be listening. Yeah, children don't, don't listen to this anyway. Do you remember when you learned Santa wasn't real? I don't remember. Okay, I do don't. I, yes, I do. I have a vivid memory. I was. This never is why like, you're traumatized. <laughs> well, I wasn't that. Yeah, I was. Okay. I ha I want. I want to say like I was like ten or eleven, which I think is like a good age. Yeah. To learn. Um, but it wasn't like a big. You know, oh, we got to be good for Santa because yeah. I wasn't a bad kid. But also, like, we didn't have, like, big Christmases anyway. Like, it wasn't yeah. really a big deal to us. But there was one time where, like, my grandma came to the house for Christmas, like, the day before. And she was, like, I was helping her unload her car. She had brought, like, presents and food and stuff. And she brought the presents and they were, like, from Santa <laughs> to me. And I was, like... <laughs> The office dear. <laughs> yeah, it was like so. I'm in the I, I pop trunks popped open. I'm looking at it. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Cause I was like, and she she was like, unload the trunk. Like she knew, <laughs> like she knew, like the gifts from Santa are in there. 
And then like after that, like no one had spoken about it. Like I didn't say anything. <laughs> And like they didn't say anything, but like the next year there were no gifts from Santa. That's sad. Yeah, <laughs> it's really sad. I don't. Know, I, I. I didn't. That's the thing. I didn't really feel sad about it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's numb. I don't want to. Yes. Yeah, I don't want to say I'm a skeptic, but I was just like, <laughs> oh, well, there. Because I think I think by that age you're always the ten year old skeptic. Yeah. I think, I think by that age it's already like. Like other older kids are like, you know, yeah. not real, you know. I'm pretty sure I learned like yeah. from school or something. So at that point, you're like, all right, well, there's already talk of this yeah. that he may not be real. <laughs> He's confirmed. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, there it is. It's not real. <laughs> all right, whatever. <laughs> I still got the, the gift. Yeah, unload the trunk. There's a uh, stuff I got to get out of there, and it's <laughs> gifts, and not even like, and she knew. Like she knew it was in there, so he didn't be like, "Oh, well, the elves gave it to me first or something like that." It was just like, "All right, he saw it." I'm friends with him. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Oh God, did you ever write the letters in school? I think yeah, yeah, for sure. I didn't know that was like an assigned task in school. Yeah. It was like write a letter to Santa. Yeah. Of like saying, I don't know what we said, but just like you had to write to Santa. Yeah. And then I think that they sent, they gave them back to us, and they just like put glitter on it, and like, oh, the elves touched it. <laughs> <laughs> He saw it. He saw it. It's a pixie dust. Yeah, yeah, pixie dust. Excuse her, pixie dust. <laughs> no, my dad would do stuff like uh, something. I think it was like reindeer. Uh, it was like reindeer treats, but they were marshmallows. Okay. My dad would like get to put these out. Yeah. So Santa would come mm -hmm. or something. But I remember stuff like that. Your dogs eat some. Yeah. I, was like, <laughs> I, I remember stuff like that. Like he would give. He I think he bought it from work. Like someone was selling them. Like, yeah. It comes with like a cute little postcard. Oh, okay. It's like a thing. How do you feel about that? Because I have a friend now who's my same age, 35, who's pregnant. <laughs> oh, God. And they're like, they're like, I'm not telling my kid about Santa Claus. Really? And like, yeah, they're just like, I don't want to, I don't feel comfortable. This is pre-kids, so the kid's not born yet, but they're like, I don't feel comfortable lying to my kid, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, my dad lied to me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <But> like, <laughs> You're going to be lying to my kid. <laughs> yeah, all the time. But there, that was their excuse. Like, yeah. I don't want to lie to them. And then... Like, I had brought up, like, you know, every other kid, because I'm not, I don't give a shit about Santa Claus, yeah. but, like, all the kids know about Santa Claus. Yeah. So, you're going to have the one kid who's, like, it's not real because well, my, my mom told yeah. me. Yeah. Takes the fun. Yeah. And then I was, like, how are you going to explain that to them and be, like, and she was, like, oh, I'm just going to tell them that um, this is this, like, thing that we kind of do to, like, help kids be good. And I was like, the kid doesn't under no. understand that. You know, that's like an adult yeah. way of thinking about it. And I just thought it was interesting because like, would you do that if you had no. a kid? No. I feel like that's Santa? the magic of Christmas. The Santa Claus? That's so horrible. I feel like that's one fun thing about having a kid would be like making Christmas like special. Right. Like and like doing all. Because well. you're going to, I feel like you'd give them the presents already. Yeah. Like making it like so fun. Like, yeah, and magical. And then Santa is like a, such a, a cultural thing. Like yeah, he's, he's on the Coke bottles and the movies. Like yeah, and then the like they're gonna movies. watch the Santa Claus. Like and we're gonna like yeah. When you're like little, you think that's like real. Right, the Tim Allen Santa. Yeah, Claus. the Tim yeah, Allen yeah. one. I'm like, what else? I don't know what other ones, but I mean, come on. Well, that's the main ones. Novelty of it is like so special. It's just a cultural thing too. Yeah, of, like everyone knows what it is. Yeah, I feel like you can only experience that. At such a as, young age, you know, you know, you only once you once you face the horrors of the real world. Yeah, like, yeah. Right, whatever, but you want that little time to be as like you know magical as possible. Yeah, so sad. That made me sad. <laughs> I would be like, well, I feel like this person's probably gonna get into it once. Yeah, because like yeah. you can say that, and then once the kid's born, you're like, all right, just yeah. <laughs> San Clint here's from the, Santa. yeah from Santa because that's all you have to do really because. Yeah. He's already a part of, like I said, the culture. Yeah, you have to write just Fake from cookies Santa. for Santa. Like that's fun. Yeah. So we didn't, we didn't do that. But oh, we did. Like yeah. there was like the whole Santa gives you presents. Yeah. But whatever. Um, but yeah, I didn't do anything for Christmas. Um, but I did. So this came up on our last episode. I I do like to watch a lot of movies on Christmas time because oh, yeah. uh, we had the solstice two days ago, the twenty first. Shout out. It was longest. Happy solstice. Happy solstice. It's midwinter. Solstice. Um, the longest night, night of, the longest year. of the year. Um, but with that comes Christmas movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I like to watch a lot of movies around Christmas yeah. time. Um, what are your favorite Christmas movies? Christmas movies. Oh, my God. I have so many. I do love Christmas movies. Because mine are not conventional. Mine are unconventional? Yes. What, Die Hard? 
No, that's like the, <laughs> that's like the one everyone's like. Yeah. My favorite Christmas movie is probably Christmas Story. Okay. I think that is yeah. like the funniest. It's a common one. It, it's just so funny to me. Mm. And Christmas Vacation. I wasn't raised on either of those. Oh, I saw I them when I was older, and they're good yeah. movies. I don't think I saw Christmas Vacation until I was a little older, but mm. we love that movie. But those are my, and then The Grinch. Like, those are my okay. top three. Oh, yeah, the old, um, the cartoon that's like 30 minutes. No, the Jim Carrey one. Oh, Jim Carrey. Okay. That one is, okay. like, th- those are the three that you can just, like, quote. Like, right. Pretty much all year long, mm-hmm. but they're just so funny. The Jim Carrey Christmas is so good. It is so good. And it's so much more, it's appreciated so much more as an adult. As an adult, yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. it is so good. It, I saw this thing on online yesterday or two days ago where the, when Grinch is a baby or a kid, <laughs> And he's there. All the the who's are at their party, yeah. And they're like dropping their keys. Oh yeah, the, the drunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm like, at the kid, you know what that is? No, yeah. Because they're like, oh, they're getting they're up getting tonight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're drinking away. Yeah, it's the like, nannies. Yeah. <laughs> they're at a Christmas party. Yeah, it's a it's fun to watch movies that are like for kids. Yeah. Qu- question like quotations that through the eyes of an adult, and you're like, oh, a little, this is a lot like, better as an adult. Like you really see, like, yeah, what's going on. I would say my Christmas Christmas movies are, and I said it our last episode was I like The Exorcist at Christmas. Oh, really? It's just like a qu- <laughs> laugh. From <season. laughs> it's just like it's it's so cozy. It's like, I do love The Exorcist. Yeah, it's yeah. just such a like quiet, warm like. I, yeah. I don't have a fireplace, but like I can imagine putting on a fire. <laughs> And just like pouring myself a bourbon <laughs> and just watching The Exorcist. It's I just do so like cozy. I watch that when I go to bed. Yeah, like sometimes yeah, I put it on. And a, there's only like a couple scary parts in there. Right. It's really not that. There's the like scary one parts part are scary, that is scary, but it's like. There's one scary part where it's like you see the demon, it's like face right, flash. Right, right. And that's where I'm like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then they did. <laughs> but it. the rest of it's not that like. No, it's, it's like creepy, a, but it's comforting. Cozy. Like I, it's, the it's warm. song comforts me. Yes. <laughs> Yes, the the horror is comforting. Yeah. It's, war, it's a warm movie. Yeah. That's probably my number one Christmas movie. Um, number two, I love Batman Returns. Oh, that is a great movie. And that's kind of also one of the... That like, is a great, great movie. It's up there with Die Hard, but just like... Uh, yeah, that is it's a Christmas also movie. So, that movie's... So, oh, we got Slow Dams playing in here. That is very much a Christmas movie. Yeah. Do we have to cut? I thought this was about... I thought this was about to be a Prince song. Oh. From Batman. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> yeah. The Joker comes down the yeah. stairs. <laughs> um, yeah, Batman Returns is one of my favorite Christmas movies. Um, it's also a very cozy movie. That is cozy, yeah. It's got that. I, I just, those are pretty much the only Batman movies I like, those two. The Tim Burton the Tim ones. Tim Burton ones. Yeah. I like, I like most of them, but those two are very, they're very like cold, dark. Yeah, they are. They're Christmas. so good. Does the first one take place during Christmas? I don't think Second so. Second one does for sure, but. Um, yeah, it's just like a cold, it's very like, you want to just get under a blanket and watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for and sure. like, Danny Elfman. The penguin, like, his, like, yeah, that, that intro. Yeah, with the In the, the mansion, basket. it's like freezing, yeah, yeah, yeah. it looks so cold. Yeah. It's freezing. Yeah, and they, <laughs> he's like the, the Jesus, or not, Moses character yeah. in the basket. Um, like Danny Elfman, I'm like hit or miss with the soundtracks, but for that movie, it's, it's so like, good. oh, this is like, yeah, you know, this is very Christmassy. That was weird. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Let's keep this part in. But that was weird. <laughs> um, if you didn't hear that, <laughs> there's music playing in our in our set. That is it's the same ours. song playing right now. Yeah, I think it's because there's a cat up there. Maybe the cat. He's got like a, oh, there's a cat. Yeah, there's a beast upstairs. I don't know if the guy's here. He's jamming. <laughs> yeah, the cat's jamming out upstairs. <laughs> just like, he's got his automatic feeder. He's got his whatever. <laughs> he's his, doing his Bluetooth. His yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll be able to cut it out, but I think it should stop. Fine. I don't mind. <laughs> um, I just want it to be too loud, but it, it's fine. <laughs> um, but I want to keep all this in because we show our flaws on this show. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's we a big. Show we show our flaws. It's a big thing about this show that I like to. Like we show our flaws. Put it all on the line. Put we it all are out not there, perfect. Like, yeah, we're exactly. not perfect. We may look perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah wink at the camera. But we're wink. not. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> so, surprise. Yeah, surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? That's that just that old lady. So like I don't know. She recorded that for something. It sounds like from the 70s. Yeah. Just, surprise, surprise. It's it's just good for everything. Um Okay, so we talked about Christmas movies. Are there any besides the um, like treats for Santa or whatever? Are yeah. there Any other Christmas traditions that you like to do? Mm. 
or Christmas or like a popular Christmas traditions that need to go. Oh, popular that needs to go. I don't know. I don't. I'm trying to think of something that I just don't like the Christmas hustle and bustle. Mm -hmm. Just like the crowd. Just like I think that's part of the reason why I didn't do a lot this year. Yeah. Like the crowds are just it's disgusting. It's just horrible. And I you say drive by the mall, like Target you, you and can. it's packed. You drive by the exit for the the mall that's over yeah, here. Yeah, it's and like I yeah. wanted to go to um, what is it? It's not a TJ Maxx, but it's like similar to that. Yeah, but just to buy something that I need. Yeah, but the exit was for the to get off the freeway yeah. was like all the way back. Oh like, yeah, oh, I'm not going to that. Happened too when I was driving here. Yeah, I'm like I'm going to Amazon. The mall exit said, was just yeah backed up the whole freeway. That's one of the things about Christmas I hate is that there's just because I don't have to worry about Christmas. I don't have to worry about buying gifts. I don't have to worry about other than the, our like friends miss event. Yeah. I don't have to go to like a bunch of events. Yeah. I don't have to do anything. But like the fact that there's so many people out. Yeah. And then like you talk to people and like, oh, I got to buy my shopping. I'm like, I could do all this. It's just like, I feel stressed out. No, yeah, this, I agree. You know? I it's missing, it has like, nothing to do with me. I did all my shopping online because I just can't deal. I, I buy I get so angry. It's, yeah, you can't go anywhere. I just, yeah. You I'm can't like, go we'll just set myself down and I'll leave. <laughs> I've done that multiple times. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I just, oh, that's the line? I just set it down and I leave. Yeah. I'm like, you, you have self-checkout at Target and there's right. one self-checkout open. Yeah. Like, during Christmas. Like, what are you doing? It's just the stress of everyone just being out and like hustle and bustle. And there's like traffic every day. Every, yeah. And like, we deal with traffic all the time. But yeah. Like, it's on a, horrible. Like on a Sunday? Yeah. Sunday is like the Lord's Day. Yeah, yeah. There's no traffic on Sundays. Out here? It's traffic on a Sunday. It's the Lord's day. It's the Lord's day. On the seventh day, he rested. <laughs> Why aren't you resting? <laughs> Why are you guys driving? No, I agree. Yeah, it's just like the hustle and bustle of the holidays this is why I don't like it. Because then, like, once January 1st comes, it's just the stillness. They're so, it's so calm. Yeah, I love the stillness. Everyone kind of just scurries back in. But then the little hovels. And yeah, just chill out. hibernation. I love the stillness of January. Yeah. I talked to. That's so true. I do like that. Yeah, the stillness. Yeah. Um, that'll be the title. I do of like episode, to go out in January. Sometimes of January. I love that. But like our, our Clint on the show, we talked about uh, like last month that he likes this time of year, like all the like, gatherings oh, and whatever, yeah. and like, and then like he's like, oh, and then January comes and it's depressing. I'm like, I'm the opposite. Yeah, you know, I do not like this part of the yeah. year because there's just so much going on yeah. and there's no calm. But then once you get to January, it's just like bliss. Peaceful, like yeah. People in their homes, they had they had their fun during the holidays. Yeah. They had their their meals and their yeah. whatever, like their gatherings. And now they're just kind of like in their caves again. Yeah. And like I'm doing it. I'm like yeah, like walking around. You know, like yeah. it's just fun. It's it is. January. I agree. I don't think January just gets so cold. That's when it starts to really get cold. Yeah, like beanie weather. Bitter. It gets bitter cold in January. We have long. We had a long cold um, last year. We did. It was June and it was so, so I cold. I feel like our, our heat didn't last that long. No. In June it was so cold. I remember that. Right. There was like there was like the usual June gloom. Yeah. But it, then it was like the next week it was hot. Yeah. So we were like, where is summer? Yeah. That's the only thing I do think like January, February, I'm like, okay, I'm ready for like the heat a up. beach hike. <laughs> beach hike. <laughs> it's all, yeah. it's all like, cold. No, <laughs> can't do it. I get in the mood to like, okay. Yeah. Because it, it's actually really beautiful outside. Yeah. Like. But it's still sunny. It's so sunny and beautiful, but, but then you go out and it's freezing. And you're yeah. Like, no. No, no, no. But yeah, I agree. I do like January calmness. Yeah. Staying inside. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. Um, I don't know. We may not be back next week um, for reasons, but so we're going to have a New Year's episode. Reasons. Reasons. Um, but I did want to do a year in review. Okay. Kind of thing. And I kind of did it last week for myself. Um, but like, I had a great year this year. <laughs> As 20, did I. 2023 was a banger. Um, we leveled up here, so this is great. Woo! Yeah, it was, financially it was great for work and all that. I feel like I got a lot older in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, I just like matured a lot. So I was already pretty mature. But like 2023, I was like, yeah, I don't give a shit about anybody. Like, you know, like that kind of thing. I'm just like, yeah. nothing matters really. Yeah. In a good way. Nothing matters, yeah. Yeah, like in a good way, in a positive yeah. way of like you're you no, you're what matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you put yourself sure. first all the time. For sure. And had a lot of fun. We went to horror nights. Horror nights was, was fun. Oh, success. We that's kinda, probably my favorite horror nights. Yeah, that's like one of the <laughs> the the uh, benchmarks of the year, I guess. Yeah. The stuff that we do yeah. is horror nights. That's like 
you know, that is Christmas for me. <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it is like a whole, it's a That's whole like thing. A whole, yeah, you wake up, you're like, ooh, it's Horror yeah, Nights. it's Horror Nights tonight. <laughs> and I had, I talked about it on the show about how like, oh, I, I made that night better for everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like, <laughs> it would have sucked. By creating a little bit of drama, Yeah, you got rid of so much. Right, I got rid of a lot of drama. It was, and it ended up being so fun. It ended up being amazing. It, it was like my favorite. I think it was my favorite horror night. Oh, wow. In like literally. It's I been my favorite in a while, in for sure. a long time, yeah. Those early years, I don't remember too much. Yeah. But like Those were, were really they fun. They were fun. But definitely in the last couple of years, this year was definitely the best yeah. because we got to, uh, we downsized the yeah, group. Downsized. And definitely the, giggles. And <laughs> laughter all around. Yeah. It was only good vibes. Good yeah. vibes only, which is what we, yeah. that's what we want. That's, all all we, time. that's the only thing we accept, yeah. It's good vibes, yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing short of that. Um, but yeah, it was a great year. Um, I'm excited for next year. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, how was your year this year? Yep. My year this year was mm. so good. This is probably my best year of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I had like a really, Why? really good year. Why? I don't know. I just had like so much fun. Mm-hmm. I had like... Fun. I this year so was definitely fun. fun. I had so much fun this year. Like mm-hmm. so unexpected. Like I traveled a lot and I hung out with like my closest friends mm. and like everything was so memorable this year and right. I don't know like fun and carefree and nothing really bad happened to me this year right I like I just like did my own thing and like my vacations and spent time with my family mm-hmm. and I don't know it was just so fun it was a great year it was a great year I don't know what it was about this year because I had someone I know say that they were like she's 38 turning 39 she had made a comment of like, you know, everyone hates their thirties, and you get into your forties, and it's like, then the forties are the great, great years. And I was like, I had an am- amazing year this yeah, year, and like every year up to now has been mostly positive. Yeah, you know, I've had some setbacks, but like, I'm I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, it's been great. No, it's so fun. I've, like, I, me and Lauren talk about it. Our friend Lauren. Yeah. Um, shout out Lauren. Shout out. You think to she'd my ever want to be on? Friend, Lauren. She'd ever want to be on here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, I don't think she would. She also right? said that she she had like the best year ever, but she yeah, got married. Well, she got married. Year. But yeah. that was also <laughs> one of my best times of the year was her getting married. Yeah, and like that whole thing was just so much fun. Her mm-hmm. bachelorette and wedding, and she was like, it was just so fun for me to see that, and uh, that experience was just like once in a lifetime. Right, and she's your age. She's around our yeah, age. Yeah, she's like a year older similar than me. Age. Okay, similar age. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's been great. I feel like next year's gonna be amazing. I want to bring in the good energy of 2023 into 2024. Yeah. And it's uh, like almost like nerve wracking. Cause yeah. I'm like this year was almost too good. Yeah. So you, like, did, you did all of your Renaissance fair stuff. Oh, so. and the Renaissance, you know, there was a lot of me just like, becoming, you turned into a fairy this year. I became, I, I call it like coming home to myself mm-hmm. this year. I went back to reading, which is something I did when right. I was in high school. And you're school. tearing through books. I am. I, I read my goal. Well, by the end of this year, I have read 20 books. Which is a lot. It's a lot. Like, the books I read are, like, 500, 600, 800 pages. Mm-hmm. So, they're, like, bigger books. Um, but um, I I have read 20 books by the end of the year, which is a lot um, for an adult to read. Right. I feel like. Adult with responsibilities Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, I just, like, disco- I rediscovered that part of myself that was, like, really into, like, fantasy. Uh-huh. I used to love that when I was right. a kid, too, right. uh, in high school. I just was, like, a bookworm and... And then I just remembered, like, all this stuff. I'm like, I loved Renaissance. And then I saw, I asked. I was like, does anyone want to go to the Renaissance Fair with me? Mm-hmm. And Lauren wanted to go, and we had the best time ever. Yeah. And now I'm obsessed. We're both yeah. obsessed. And that's you another reason. Ears. Huh? You bought your I ears. I bought my elf ears, my fairy ears. And yeah. I just, like, feel like that was also a big part of why I had a good year. It was, like, my books and the Renaissance Fair. Right. And Finding that inner that child. That inner child. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. So much joy. Yeah. yeah. There was so much joy this year. Mm. Yeah. But, yeah, that was so awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great year. I, I, I mean, just other than this, just, like, I, I said it last week, but I'm always, I've always been pretty confident but this year is just like, okay, like I'm great. Like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I just like that Leo energy. I guess. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a Leo thing to say. Yeah. It's all about I'm me. Great. I'm amazing. I'm Everyone great. likes me, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> Wink at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, shower me with praise. I'm great. I do love <laughs> praise. <so. laughs> um, yeah, it was a great year. I hope next year will be great too. I'm sure it will be. I feel like, I feel like creatively, it's going to be an amazing year. Professionally, it'll be, it'll be an amazing year. Yeah. Um, my plans for next year are just more of this. Yeah. Keep like, it going. Keeping creative. Um, I'm producing a documentary. Oh. That's. I kind of. I'll talk about it more. Oh. When it's on the. I kind of talked about it on your episode. I, I think. think I. I think you did. The movie Akira. Oh anime. yeah, yeah. I didn't know you were. I thought you were talking about someone else doing well, it. Well, they're like directing it, and they're like the head, whatever. Oh, but okay. Like, I'm a producer on the. Film. Oh wow! Look at you. So that's my first IMDb credit. Oh wow! Yeah. So that's coming up. And wow. I'm Amazing. super excited for that. I'm I'm ninety percent going to Japan next oh, year. Oh, are you? Yes. Like I yeah. wanted to go this year, but things happen. Yeah. Um I'm jealous. But yeah, it's just next year's gonna be amazing. Yeah. It's gonna be so much fun. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, do you have any plans for next year? Um my plans. Any on the horizon? Renaissance fairs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um Cruises. I'm either going to go I am going to New Orleans in February for the first time. Okay. Which I am so excited cuz I been. Me neither. But I'm like all for like haunted things. I'm going to take a haunted tour, but I'm going to New Orleans and then I'm going on a cruise. Okay. Cruise out of New where? Orleans. Oh, out of New Orleans. Okay. Uh Jamaica and oh. Grand Cayman Islands. Okay. But then I'm either going to Australia or I'm going to Greece next year. Australia? Those are the two options. Is that a cruise or just? They're a, cruises. Okay. So we're only going to do one. We don't know which one I'm going to do. I don't know. We're, Where do they leave trying. from? Australia leaves from Australia. They have to fly And then to Greece, I think, leaves from Spain. Wow. Yeah, so I'm fine. That's why it's like, yeah, it's only doing one or the other. Right. Um, But I'm, I'm definitely going to do one of those. I just don't know which one. I say do... What? I don't know. Either both is the great. The Greece one is going to look... I know. Both are enticing. It's so hard. It's so hard. Mm-hmm. I they, they both sound really nice. I do... Like, the Greece one does look... I think it's Greece and Italy. So mm-hmm. I'm like, oh. oh, and Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good itinerary. Like, it's just like... Yeah. And then you go to, like, the Greek Isle. It's the Greek Isles. What are the Greek Isles? I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I can't think of it off the top of my head. Uh-huh. But there's, like, so many... I can't even think of, like... So I can I can see them in my head. Mm-hmm. What is that one place that's like so Mykonos? famous? Yeah, Mykonos, yeah, I think that's one of them. I do want to go there one day. Yeah. That's the place that has. It's on. It's on a. It's a coastal city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's. But it, like then. a lot of the buildings are blue and white. Yes, that's it. You ever it. seen? Um, La Mia. Oh my God, I love those movies. The one with Meryl Streep. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That takes Come place in Mykonos, yeah. I think. So it's like, oh, it looks like that. That's why you gotta live the ABBA dream. That's ABBA. The ABBA dream. <laughs> the ABBA dream is going to Greece. That Swedish dream yeah. in Greece. Greece, yeah. <laughs> it's like, ABBA is now ref- like, mama, because of Mamma Mia. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you think of Greece, you think of ABBA now. Yeah, that's true. I'd never seen Mamma Mia. I've seen the movie yeah. with Meryl Streep. Yeah, it's a good movie. And I'm not a musical fan, but like, it's it looks pretty. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. ABBA is just like the Swedish band. Yeah. It's like, They're classic. Yeah. Oh, so good. There's that one movie with Adam Sandler. What is where it? Where it's Winona Ryder, and she's like, oh, my grandpa was an ABBA. And you're like, the band? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's sweet. It. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. What Deeds. Movie Mr. Is that? Deeds. Is that Mr. Deeds? Where he has money, and then Winona Ryder's trying to get okay. that money or something like that, right? Yeah, with Winona the Ryder. Um, you've seen Mr. Deeds? I do it's it's pretty fun. Like I'm not the Adam Sandler is funny, but it's also very much like <laughs> yeah. one kind of humor. Yeah, I think that's but Mr. Why Deeds like, is funny. I feel like it, I probably have watched it. When I'm I was sure little. you have. And one of the writer doesn't really do comedy, but she's that's funny. why I was she's surprised funny in that her movie. name. Yeah, she's funny in that movie. Which, by the way, <sighs> I watched Edward Scissorhands earlier this. Oh today. yeah, that's a good Christmas, a Christmas movie. movie. That is a Christmas. I didn't movie. realize it. Yeah, it's like really Christmassy. I have that like some of the songs. On my Christmas okay. playlist. Yeah, he like makes it snow. Yeah, that I'm not. Part. A, I'm not. A, That's the part. Yeah. That movie, I'm always just like. That movie's so sad. Yeah, it's like I've never. I'm not. I don't shit on it at all, but I'm never like. I don't really like it. I don't know. It was this, like the ending to me is so depressing. So I like I the don't first watch like two thirds of it. Yeah. And then the end is like, all right, we didn't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> he just ends up back in the tower. Yeah, and like the t- the town turns into a mob, and they're yeah, just like, to me, that's like so running in the sad. tower and yeah. like get him. And it's that's, like, I'm like, it's so depressing. Yeah, we didn't have to do this. <laughs> it was <laughs> oh, so fun until then. Yeah. <laughs> they turned on him so fast. They did. Oh my 
He just gave all those ladies haircuts. I know. The and, Avon. Then, and then he rebuffed that one lady who tried to f him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then she just ruins him. She's a woman Dude, scorned. She was a bitch. Yeah. She was, she a, was bitch. a woman scorned. Yeah. And she, he was just was like, he's like, she was a bitch, though. Yeah. yeah he then, was kind of. And then she tried to f him. And he was yeah. like, I don't know what's happening. So he fell out of his chair. Dude. And then she, he's like, bye. And then she was like, he tried to R word me. And yeah. then we're like, oh, that sucks. He's yeah. He's like a child. He is a child. He's the mind of a child. Um, that's another Christmas that movie now, I guess. I'm yeah. talking about it. It's, it's my heart. <laughs> He's just a gingerbread man. He's made from cookies. Yeah. <laughs> He's, He's made, made from, from cookies and he has got scissors on his fingers. He's not anything bad. <laughs> then they ruin him. I forgot cookies. that part that he's made from cookies. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> they bring a cookie to life and he's he's like That is a strange movie. Yeah, it's Vincent Price. Yeah, he's the guy. I, I know, yeah. I, I, <laughs> he's like makes a cookie man. I don't know. What are we talking about? Sorry. Cookies <laughs> made from uh, anyway, so you're going to be traveling the world next year, which is amazing. I don't have many plans <laughs> other than that movie. And then in Japan. Japan, too. I'm, it's like a big one. It's such a hard trip to plan. Cause it you, is. It's, one, there's the language barrier. Yeah. Which you have to kind of try and figure yeah. out how to overcome that. Although, from what I've read, most most people speak English there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of their signs are in English and stuff. Yeah. So. Then also, it's like the money, like the transportation thing. Yeah. Like how to get around. Yeah. And like there's these things that are like um, subway cards, yeah, or whatever, and you have to like load those up and figure it out. And it sounds like a lot of work. It is, yeah. I don't like doing a lot of work. I know it's hard. I'd like, like to go with somebody. Cause I'm probably going alone. Translator like app. Yeah, or just someone that knows like where yeah. to go. Like, yeah. how do I find the good food here? Yeah. I know where to go. It's like no, I'm gonna have to walk around and figure it out. And you can I'll probably do a research. Yeah, yeah, you can, but then still, once you get there, it's like, when I'm going to be on Instagram the whole yeah. time, be like, okay, how to get to, like, yeah. the five top places in Kyoto. It's like, yeah. uh, I'm just going to walk around. Yeah. Then I get led into, like, a trafficking place, and the next thing you know, no, I'm, like, on the news. You <laughs> know, <laughs> it's funny that you say that. Um, it's actually, Japan is voted the safest country for women to travel alone. Okay, well, I'm not a woman. Well, you're not, but I mean, <laughs> saying that's saying a lot, because it's there's safe. so many places that are unsafe for women. Right. But that it's the safest country for Japan. women to travel alone. Did it say why? I don't know why. I just know that it is. You won't get trafficked? I don't think you will get trafficked. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that's a thing either. Yeah. I've never heard trafficking out of Japan. Yeah. But you never know. Like, yeah. fall, I'd, like knowing my luck, I'd wander to like a Yakuza bar or yeah, something, and yeah. then it'd be like Kill Bill. Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> just like... <laughs> Your you know that scene in Kill Bill Your where get scalped. Yeah. Where it's in the House of Blue Leaves and she's like fighting all those guys. Oh, yeah. And then it's the last guy and it's a kid. She's like, oh, What are you doing? Do it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be me. Here's what you get for <laughs> around Yakuza's. That'd be me. I'd be the guy that was tricked into holding a samurai sword and like, hey, just go here and do this yeah. thing. And next thing you know, I'm fighting a white lady in a yellow tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie. Yeah. Well, that that movie's kind of cozy as well. Well, yeah. maybe not. Second one is, I guess. Yeah. First one's not as much, but yeah. It ends in like a snowy area, so whatever. Yeah. Um. So yeah, any other Christmas plans this year, or just usual? I'm just. Stuff? I'm kind of ready for it to be over. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I think at one point Christmas, like the closer it gets to Christmas, it's like sad. Sad. Yeah. Like sad? it's sad for it to end. So now I'm just ready for it to end, so I can continue with my Are you life. Ready for the death and the rebirth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I like the anticipation of Christmas, but at, at one point I'm like, oh my gosh, it's over. So let's right. just end it, and I can get back to my way of living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, the gym. We get the gym. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have my plans are for it to be over as well. And we move into New Year's. Which do you do anything on New Year's? No, I work. I do. I don't mind working New Year's. Okay. Um, same. I, I New Year's is not. I never really feel like because it's like January. December 31st feels the same as January 1st. Oh, yeah, yeah, for know? sure. It's not like a real disconnect no. in any way. It just, no. It just keeps... I feel like, if anything, Christmas is like the New Year's. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I feel more like that because you got to... Once your Christmas is over, everything stops and like you put all your stuff away yeah. and like it's just... That's, yeah, December 1st. You, you go back into I mean, like, January 1st is You when go you back into the routine of... Yeah. Up until the holiday season next year. Yeah. So it's really like Christmas is the New Year's. Yeah. I, I like. yeah. I agree. Okay. I like. I think I'm ready to go back to like my routine. Yeah. Post holidays. I'm ready to go back in my. I haven't hiked in like 
weeks. Yeah. Cause I got sick. Like I get so like unhealthy during the holidays. Yeah, like, I got sick a few weeks ago, and I was like, I can't breathe, so I'm not going on my hikes and stuff. Yeah. And then like we had our Christmas parties, and then I like mentally I'm like, I'm just gonna be like a, a heathen. These like you yeah, know, just no, yeah, like, that's how I feel. It's always dark outside. Yeah. You know, I'm, it's like I just want to the gym. No, I just want to <laughs> get drunk. I just want to eat. I just want to yeah. do like the bad stuff. Yeah. But then like December 26th, it's like. Yeah. We're done. That's how I feel exactly. Yeah. That's exactly. I'm just like, I'm ready. You know, we're done. Like, just eating this crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. But no. I'm going to keep doing it until December 25th. I think the darkness has something to do with it. Oh, yeah, for sure. I get so, I mean, it's dark at like 4.30 or 5. Yeah. And it's like, I'm going to get ready for bed. It's crazy. And I'm going to eat pasta. <laughs> <laughs> and we still have not gotten rid of that. No. And they keep telling us every year, like, it's, it's not That's coming back. I it's thought. not coming back. And nobody like knows for sure. Somebody, we voted for it to be done. And then they just said nope. And then they're like, no, I don't know what happened. Nobody knows. I'm so confused. Nobody knows. I'm ready for it to be done. I don't I don't remember voting on anything, but I remember like that was a thing of like, yeah. we're not doing this again. Yeah. And then we did it again. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> and we did it again. <laughs> and we did it. This was like in 2020, so it's been a couple of years. I thought it voted in 2020. You, that was going to be four, four years, years ago. ago. That's, That's why I'm crazy. like, okay, so what's going on here? <laughs> Doesn't that feel like, part of me feels like it wasn't that long ago. Part of me feels like it was like a lifetime ago. Yeah, it doesn't seem real. No, it doesn't, it doesn't seem, seem real. real. 2020, 2019 yeah. in, into 2020 feels like, what happened? Yeah. Like how, did, how did this happen? Yeah. How did we just all stop working? We stopped working. We all just didn't go anywhere. No. And we didn't go back to work for like no. a year. Yeah. And it just, you think it, it was like, like too good to be true. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I remember my routine was just at home every day. Yeah. Like watching Downton Abbey. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I did. I was and like going know. on five mile walks every day. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was really a horrifying thing in 2020, 2020. Well, you know how you have an iPhone. If you leave your house at a certain time every day, it's like, oh, 20 minutes to Oh, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. So mine does it for work. But um, during 2020, it would be like, oh, 18 minutes to BevMo. Oh, my God. Like, stop. I was just drinking so much. There's nothing to do. <laughs> There's nothing to do. Yeah. So I go to BevMo like three times a yeah. week. And I guess I'm getting another bottle of Crown. <laughs> <laughs> no Costco Crown. Yeah, no Costco Crown. I'm not working. I'm not doing it. And it was like, I remember my phone would be like, hey, you drunk f- it's 18 uh, minutes to get your sauce. It it's time. Like, oh. It's about that time. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, it's uh, 1230. I think you're running a little low. <laughs> yeah. It's such a crazy thing to think that. That is crazy. I'm like, and like, I know our friend, um, Anthony. Oh, yeah. On floor. Like, I go to their house, like, all the time during then because they lived relatively close to where I was. And, like, it was... <laughs> Who would just be like, what are we doing? Like, yeah. We're not working. No. None of us are working. We're just getting drunk every day. Yeah. And like, it's fun. Yeah. We're having a good time, but we're like, is this the new thing now? I wish it was. Because we were getting paid. Oh, yeah. I That's know. That's the thing. We weren't just like not getting, getting paid. paid. We were getting paid. I know, dude. Like, it was like the enhanced. Like, it's just like incredible. It's it in- was when ridiculous. I think about how much money we got paid, it was like, what, two grand a week? Yeah. It's, to like do nothing? I was nothing? living so good. Yeah. Outside. And it's like. Because we obviously qualified for, like, the maximum benefits. Yeah. Or just, like, I'm getting paid this to do nothing. Yeah. Life's it was insane. amazing. Yeah. This is the nor- new normal? Yeah. We're I think I got a, we got a taste of the good life. Yeah. And that's <laughs> ruined us now. And I'm just like, uh now, now that it's been taken away from us, like, I oh, I have to work. Yeah. Like, I don't want to work anymore. For less. No, well, not less. But you know what I mean? It's just like. Uh, yeah, we are working. This is a taste of what it could be like to not have to work and just enjoy your life it is so sad i think about i don't try to think i actually try not to think about it too much because i get sad well i don't think i don't think about it It, those times for me are now when i reflect on it i was like you didn't do anything productive okay you know because i didn't i wasn't like i didn't save that money yeah i know i should have you know i didn't really i say like i spent what i had to spend but i didn't like someone's paying you to do nothing yeah right so i didn't really save it I didn't. True. Like California, what you couldn't do. Other states, you could. Yeah. So I didn't travel. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Um, I just I didn't like plan for the future at all. Like, yeah. I wasn't like I didn't start this. I know. I so like then. what? Yeah. And it was just like. Oh, I think we're like getting that check. 
Oh yeah, like <laughs> from our job. Spoiler. So see, I'm learning from well our mistake. Yeah. Well, that I'm gonna that, be that putting that money going away <laughs> that we get. What it, do you mean it's going it's, away? It's not being spent. Like oh, oh I thought you meant future. like it's not happening. I was like, no, no, no. I'm no. investing that money into my like right into happiness. Future. Uh, yeah, something. I'm not gonna just piss it away at Bethmo. No, you yeah. Know, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like maybe one cruise. And the rest is well, gone. yeah, I'll probably splurge a little. One, bit. just a little. Yeah, yeah. because it's, it is a gift. Yeah, you know, but yeah, that that's that's something else. That I'll just see. I'm gonna do too. When are we getting that check? Point for me to redeem myself. It's the check. <laughs> check. You'll, you now that you know what it's like to get free money. I, yeah. I'm really gonna use that. That is our money, money though. It's, right, technically, yeah, it is our. It money, is our money. <laughs> it's also gonna be like. uh a lot You're, of money. What is my paycheck this week? Yeah. Okay. I don't know when we're getting that money. Someone said February. If it, I, I mean, know, dude. I will be calling out a form when we get it. Hey, we'll be taking a year off. <laughs> <laughs> I probably actually am At least a going to be doing a career change when I get that money. <laughs> well, wait, it'll finance a, a lifestyle I'm going to finance it. Yeah, I'm going to get like a certification or yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll definitely, $5, I'm going to add on to this building. No, yeah, yeah. Money. I'm <laughs> investing in my career right. with that money. Right, yeah. So yeah. I'm like, it will jumpstart my. Even though it is money funds. that is owed to us, it, it will be a very welcome. It's because it's coming in a lump sum. Right. So it's just a substantial amount and of money. And it's not something we knew was going to happen. No. It was just like, surprise, so surprise, surprise, like, surprise, oh, surprise, surprise. You're getting a check, It's guys. almost too good to be true. <laughs> It, once it happens, I'll, I mean, I... I better come. No, my, my, we're like, no, we're getting that money. And I'm like, we are getting that money. My pessimistic brain I, is like, okay, easy. But you may not, yeah. you, like, you Wait, may they get have it. to pay us. I know, but it's, it's like my brain is like, don't get your hopes up. Even though yeah. I, I, it'll come. Yeah. But that's just how I, th like, don't get your hopes up. I do up. think they'll prolong it as much as possible. Oh, yeah, they're going to draw it out. Yeah, but also, I'm like, money. when it does come... Be ready, bitch. Just, like, <laughs> just be like, Peggy. Be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Peggy is someone. <laughs> <laughs> Call me out for the whole week. <laughs> yeah. It will not be there until June. Um, you know, that'll be amazing. That'll be definitely. Yeah. That's my goal is to put that money into something useful. Yeah. I definitely my goal. Okay. So that's back to one of my goals for 20. If we get that money. When? Year, when? When we get it. Okay. This year. It's going to be to further my... Yeah, it's going to be um, life-changing in a way. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll make that one of my goals, too. Yeah, Once yeah, we get right? our, our payout this year yeah. that is owed to us. <laughs> it's not like It is owed lottery. to us. It's like we... They basically stole... We're like cattle <laughs> who didn't get our, our grazing time we were, or we're at peace. <laughs> we were exploited. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we were worked cattle who are not. Well, cattle don't get shit. They get what they, they did get was illegal. But, you know, yeah. It was illegal. <laughs> yeah, it was illegal. Um, but again, it's bleeped out when we work, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> we didn't say the name. No, <laughs> it wouldn't be hard to find out. Look up, lo look up lawsuits. <laughs> look up class action lawsuit. You'll find plenty with this company. Um, <laughs> I think there's another one. And I think we're going to win. Which one is that one? It's one about, like, the time that it takes us to, the like, walk. walk. Oh, I thought, okay, what's the one you're talking about? This is a different one. This is because they were not paying us, like, the right amount. Like Oh, like a it was like, an hourly wage. Yeah. It was off. Their, okay. Our hourly wage was off by, like, $4 or something like that. Something substantial. For how many years? For, like, I, it started in 2019 Jesus. up until, like, 2022. Jesus. So Three it's years substantial. Of yeah, it's a, a substantial. Yeah, substantial be, amount. So we get tipped. That wouldn't be taxed from that. No, yeah, it wouldn't be taxed. That's, crazy. That's a lot of money. That is. I think it, we do get taxed, but not right, like but we not get taxed, taxed for like tips. Like on our tip no, income. that's crazy. That's a lot. It, of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money, Mike. And then <sighs> even the tax, I think we would get a good like tax return. Let's not jinx it. I don't know. I, was, I, was like, I always owe money for tax So do I. I, I, mean, I always owe money. It's not, like, I, hate. I always owe money. People too. are like, oh, tax season. Dude, like, dude like, we have, like, I got I, five grand back. I was like. <gasps> I owe two. I owe, <laughs> owe $2,000. I hate it. And it's always right understand. after the holiday. It's remember, it's like, I still remember when you first owed money. I still yeah, remember we were, by the, shocking. we were by the camera area. And you were like, I owe money. I owe money. <laughs> like, you were like, 
<laughs> I remember being horrified, and I will. It's my Roman Empire. It's like, <laughs> the, like taxis. I think. Yeah, tax the rich. <laughs> I'm not rich. <laughs> I'm not rich. How am I getting taxed? And I'm just like, I still don't understand why Marcus owes money. And lo and behold, and lo and behold, I owe money now every I know, year. It's crazy, dude. Like, and I'll I, try to overcompensate and like spend like. Give like more for my taxes. It doesn't matter. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's still like it's the money we make. We just make too much tax, money. Yeah. We don't even make like that much. We don't. We, we make comfortable living. Yeah. We're not, we like, get punished for being childless adults. Too. Yeah. That's that too. Too. Yeah. We don't have any kids, so there's yeah. no tax breaks for us. Yeah. We're like, I don't want to make that decision was a healthy one. Yeah. To not have I, kids. I just it makes me sick to my stomach. People get I dread tax season. Yeah, it's always right out. It's in February. I did mine in October. I did mine so in July. Yes, I waited this year and was I like, owed money. Like, dude, I'm not. Paid. Yeah. <laughs> two. I, I owed like two something this year. I was I, like, I think I owed a good amount of money. Yeah. Was, I I think I cried a little. It's just so depressing because then <laughs> you're is. like, you see it like I oh, thought for you, sure. You I see it, it right. like start to be good and you're like, yeah. all right, and then it's like they do something and it's like all the other side. Yeah. You're like, what? happened yeah. like, how do i just get <laughs> oh, like, oh, crap. well bleep that bleeped, out it's fine um like the way they do my paychecks i don't know they don't take enough money out of my paychecks even though i say take this certain amount right. off they don't it's so, just but i think it's because our paychecks are like nothing usually i don't know well, yeah but that's it but our, i just don't because i can't the gratuity I did nothing wrong <laughs> no no the gratuities are more than the, the earned income so it's, yeah it's, you're gonna have to owe. You're gonna have to yeah. owe that tax money eventually, and it happens in tax season. Yeah. But it's just it's frustrating and annoying, and I see all these. Oh, I just bought like whatever. Like, yeah. I I did not. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in debt. Yeah. <laughs> I am in substantial debt. No, I'm not. But I mean, luckily, that hurts luckily, my heart every yeah, time. It's always depressing, especially when you're young. And just you're silent. Like, oh, tax season. Like, yeah. They got like 100 or 500 bucks I, back. 500 bucks? Yeah. I would die for $500 back. You just spend it right away because it's like, oh, I, I, I just got like free money. It wasn't free. That's money you paid yeah. for. But That's why I'm like, I owe money. Like yeah. after you, all the money you take out of my paycheck, I owe money. It's a scam. Working's a scam, guys. It is. Yeah, taxation is theft. Tax so how does that work? If you, Do you have to pay it all at once when you owe it or they're like, all right, payment plan? Yeah. So for us, because we make tips and gratuities, that counts as um, taxed income. Mm. So we have to report that. Um, if it's on credit cards, you have to report it. Mm -hmm. You have to report that income. If it's cash, you don't because um, that's under the table. No, I think yeah. he's asking, like, do we pay the money that yeah, we owe? Yeah, I, I, like, but because that we all get taxed, we get taxed that that in um, off of our, our earned hourly income, like we get $0 paychecks mm. every week. Oh, so it's so easy to owe money. Yeah, so... We're not getting taxed enough money off of our hourly rate. So then once tax season comes around, you get hit with all that. So, um, see how in tax season, you know, like thousands of dollars. <laughs> I, you, I think you can do a payment plan for it. <laughs> yeah. I think so too. But I think they do add like an interest fee. Yeah. I do. Yeah. So some, I just pay some, it up front. Some other scam. Yeah. <laughs> some, some other way to make more money. Some other way to make more money yeah, off like, our poor souls. I know. We're like, I've got two dents on my car outside. Yeah, <laughs> like, please. Yeah, please. Please. I'm not rich. No. <laughs> I'm not at the Met Gala. <laughs> tax them. Yeah, tax them. Um, just, it's best to pay it up front. Yeah, I didn't do the payment plan thing. Just get Me it. Either. I don't want to have to worry about it. I just, out of sight, out of mind. Uh, yeah, you just like. <laughs> I cried my tears. <laughs> I, I you paid. just do it and you just move on. I cry and then. It's just a part of February. <laughs> it's just part of February. It's a short month <laughs> yeah. already. Yeah. You're maybe short on your finances because you're getting taxed. It's, it's, yeah. it's part of the package deal. I better not owe this much this year. Well, I, worked probably will. I worked a lot last year. So Did probably, you really? Yeah, I worked a lot. A lot. Surprisingly. I know. Surprise, surprise. surprise. I know. I was like, since <laughs> when? I was just on, I got a lot of stuff to pay for. So I, I worked a lot. Dang. I did not work I was a on lot. the hot street too for a long time. So making good money. And it was just like opportunities. Like, you want yeah. my shift? All right. Yeah. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. So I made I made good money. But um, but then I also have to finance this. Like, it's yeah. a lot. So <laughs> my expenses went up a lot this year. So I kind of had to work a lot. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm not complaining. 
adult things. Adult adult things. Um, that's kind of all I have for this episode. Um, and we're kind of anyway, so we can. I guess we can wrap it up here. Um, so thanks for being here. Oh, you're welcome. This was fun. I had a good time. Uh, I hope you come back. I know. I hope I come back too. Yeah. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast of your own? I don't kind know. Of creative entertainment? I feel like I'm like. I don't know. I'm so scatterbrained. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's one of the joys of podcasting. <laughs> it's just just like conversations ramble. go everywhere. Yeah. Because um, I, I had this. Health and wellness this, podcast. Yeah. Well, well, we'll talk about it after, off <laughs> mic. But I, I thought about it a few months ago. And I was thinking about the future of this show. And thinking about guests that we've had on this show. And about what Caesar wants to do with, our producer wants to do with, like, his career. It was like. Why can't or we should? Because I thought about you in particular. It was like we could all have like shows, like our oh, own shows, fun. and then you have to be in your thirties. <laughs> well, I don't know. Not, well, I mean, your show wouldn't be. Oh, your yeah. show would be like whatever oh. you're into. Okay. But like we could all have like a fun company or like a like a. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because this is I don't want to give. I'll talk about. It. But you know, like <laughs> it was just like a bracket of. Of shows under one thing. Yeah. Where we all oh, have yeah. our own shows. Like Last Podcast Network. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or like YMH, for yeah. those people who know that is. Of just like a com- uh, an umbrella almost. Yeah. And like all these shows underneath, yeah. underneath one umbrella. And then I love that. we're all just kind of, we couldn't like inter- intersect here and there. But it's just like we're all using the same space. We're all like having, we're all doing our own shows. We're all having, yeah. we're all building our own audiences. Yeah. And then we expose each other to our other audiences and you just build and build and build yeah. from there. And I was like thinking about, so I had this show and then our Clint, we had the show, me and Clint have the show. But then Clint wants to do his own little thing. Well, it'll be like a, the, well, I won't spoil it, but he has his own thing where like I'm not going to be part of that. Yeah. But then like maybe one day I could pop up on that show. Like, well, maybe Jasmine has her own show, yeah. and then like she does her own thing and like dresses very, this how she wants porn. to dress it, and like yeah, <laughs> a fairy. Very no, you could do that. I don't. Oh, you could do that. Smut. It's called smut. <laughs> it's called smut. <laughs> Books. <laughs> it's a- the, fra- the fairy <laughs> crazy because I I told you that last time I saw you, but I had heard that term maybe like last week, and I was because like, I know you're doing you you're into all those books. I was just like, oh, is this like a, a thing? I don't. Or is this just like. <laughs> her thing and then someone else on a podcast what's called court of miracles court of Thor- thorns and roses okay. they, she, <laughs> she was like there's like these fairy porn books about and they're called like court of thorns something and i was like it's a thing <laughs> it is a thing yeah. it's so popular it's the new twilight to be honest oh, okay so it's, it's that hot big. topic has a collection out of like a clothing line of it a fairy porn of like that that particular that book series or series yeah because yeah. i that's not like that's in my algorithm yeah. at all. It's but I was actually like, very popular. Okay. Like, I would compare it to Twilight, probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah, it is pretty big. And so she brought it up, and she's like, have you heard of this, like, fairy thing? And I was like, fairy And then she mentioned that. I was like, oh, Jazz is into fairy porn. Oh. So you could have, you could have a fairy <laughs> I'm porn into podcast. Fairy porn. <laughs> or it could be, like, health and wellness, because yeah. we, have, we have one of those. It's called balance. Yeah. <laughs> Rodriguez Productions has a health podcast, but not from a woman's perspective. Yeah. So you could do that. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just thought like for the future of 2024, I was like, I'm going to ask Jasmine if she wants to do her own podcast. That would be so fun. And like, I would be down to do yeah, that. Yeah. And then like, we can all have like our own, like, I don't know. I just was like, Man. I had all these like machinations. My eyes are like. Yeah. I had all these machinations about the future and just like, I just want to make content with my friends and then hopefully yeah. people come and see it. We can do like round table sometimes. Yeah, I've said before, like I, I want like a, a round table of regulars yeah. on this, on this show. So not like an actual round table, but yeah. people that just come on all the time. Yeah. And the studio is so much closer to me now, too. That, and then it's also so much bigger, and yeah, there's so yeah. much more we can do here. I know. Of just like, okay, well, we can have, we have like, we have you, we have, um, well, I guess now Skylar, like Chelsea, Rebecca, cosplayer, shout out. Like we have people that are just like one oh. who can come on often yeah. and just like promote their own show yeah. and just like, you just you know, grow and show yeah. from there. That's so fun. So, yeah, I don't know. Just uh, and I, I thought that I had like a I few would weeks ago. That. Just yeah. like I, I like I, like manifested a future of like I just want to have like a production company with my friends. Yeah, we that would be make, so fun. We all make our own shows, and then we have like holiday parties together. Oh, just, like, you know, fun. like <laughs> we just like have fun. How California of us? Yeah, we just like 
even if we don't make any money here, like we just it's have fun. It's, this is like a very fun hobby that we creative have. outlets are so yeah. Important. It's just like we just feel very fulfilled by doing this yeah. stuff. And I th- I feel fulfilled being here. You know, so oh, well, that's amazing. I can only imagine. Doing imagine your own time. show. I think you should do your own show. We'll pull the audience. The yeah, audience a, your court? Own show. <laughs> a court. A <laughs> court. Do you want her to talk about fairy porn <laughs> or, or <Pilates>. fitness? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or I somehow pulling them go one way <laughs> yes. dramatically. I won't say p- title. <laughs> <laughs> just to be like, oh, p- idea. <laughs> yeah. she can, maybe she can wear elf ears and I do won't. demonstrate I like won't. fitness for you. That'll be a different audience. <laughs> but an audience is an audience is an audience, audience is an audience. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God, who was, this happens recently? Someone was like talking shit about, well, maybe it was like a comment that I read was like talking shit. You know, like the comments on YouTube is whatever. I'm just like, well, you're talking about it, so yeah, success. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're wa- you watched it and you saw yeah. it. You talked about it. Success. Good. Any publicity is good publicity. Exactly, exactly. and it yeah. really is. Yeah, especially this day and age. But we'll wrap it up there for today. Um, thank you Ooh. for being here, Jasmine. Do you want to plug anything? Um, plug. You know, go ahead and read Court of Thorns and Roses. Yeah. It's such a good series, and it'll get you back into reading. And it's actually like a 15 page, no, not a 15 page, 15 book, book multiverse. Oh, 15 pages. That's 15 <laughs> book multiverse. And it will <laughs> change it your life. Book? <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll change your life. And yeah. that's all I can say. Okay. And um, if I do start my own podcast, you'll definitely want to read those yeah. because I will be bringing them up. It'll be a very. It'll change your life. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Caesar, go ahead. Uh, follow me at Rodriguez Podcast. That's where you can produce a podcast for your own in this studio. We're working out the kinks. Uh, that that was that was definitely the cat, by the way. For people that don't know, <laughs> the cat was playing music. The mangy cat. We're still new in here, so yeah. it'll but, be a few bugs that work out. But. but yeah, hit me at Rodriguez Podcast at the Rodriguez Show is my radio show. I've been doing for eight years, where I interview artists in Orange County, and then yeah, uh, that's it. Okay, and then the Clint Show for Clint stuff on Instagram, whatever else. Um, Uncle Tour and Scores Marcus for me. Uh, the 30s pod on everything. YouTube, YouTube numbers. The, the episode, I think, because you're censor, censoring them. Yeah. The numbers are going up because I oh, we is have it? to censor them. Yeah. Yeah, we used to completely censor it now. Yeah, I used too much profanity. So, but he censored them and like the numbers are kind of like going up. So, Wow. Anyway, so... Thank you for being here, Jasmine. Oh, thank you for having me. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Yay, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy (laughs) New Year. Happy New Year. (laughs) 